What's up guys? It's your girl Stephanie, Steph D. Livers. Now I know some of you guys want to know how much gas do you usually spend per week um, when you're dashing? How many miles do you put on your car? What about the, the wear and tear on your car? Um, how much money um, do you usually make on average per delivery? And how many deliveries um, do I do? We're going to talk about this. Plus, I want to share with you guys something encouraging that I noticed on my recent dash. Let's do this thing. So let me just show you guys. I started off with this amount of gas on my recent dash. I ended up with this amount of gas when my dash ended. And these are the number of miles that I um, traveled during my recent dash. This is kind of um, high for me. I usually don't drive this many miles when I'm dashing. I did dash for, what, four hours, approximately four hours. So that's kind of a long dash for me. I usually dash is about three hours, three and a half hours. So, But the deliveries were um, also 6.2 miles, 6.2 miles, a couple of those um, five miles, four miles. But on the flip side, if you really want to know how to maximize your um, dashes, how to get the most out of your dash and the most money, dash during commute hours. Because you can see these dashes are $12, $12, $12, $12, $9. That $9 came like after 6.45, after 7 o'clock. I just feel like those are the best hours. I know it's holiday season and it's Christmas time. And for me, I'm trying to stay away from the mall. We have a huge mall um, out here where I live. And um, I don't want that to be my hot spot because I know that I'm going to endure a whole lot of traffic um, during this Christmas season, the weeks leading up to Christmas. So I'm trying to avoid um, those spots. But as you can see, you can really maximize um, your monies during... Um, commute hours. And I want you to also notice that these orders were $14, $12, $14, $20. Seeing this is like kind of encouraging to me that DoorDash is, is kind of trying to get with it. I don't know. We're going to see in the next few days to see if this um, continues. At least um, next week I'll be able to tell us so I'll be back doing it back during the commute hours. Just wanted to share that with you guys. So let's talk gas. How much gas are you going to be putting in your car each and every week? For me, because I only dash 10 to 15 hours a week, I put about $20 of gas in every week. And that includes me going back and forth to work, to my regular daytime job. Um, I only live about five minutes from my daytime job. I don't usually travel a lot other than going back and forth to work to the store or what have you. As you can see, I only have like 40,000 miles on my car. So this has variables. How much are you going to dash? How much time are you going to put into it? Obviously, if you're dashing 30 hours a week, 40 hours a week, um, you're going to be spending some money and it depends on your car. I have an Altima Coupe. It depends on your car, okay? I don't know. I'm just talking what I spend for my little Nissan Altima Coupe. I love it. Um, if you're spending probably more than 50 bucks a week, that's a lot to me. And you're going to have to remember, you're going to be getting your oil changes more often. 3,000 miles. Not three months, but 3,000 miles. I was talking to a mechanic the other day. I took my car in to get an oil change. Now, since I've been dashing, I've probably put like 3,000 miles on my car. So I took my car in, and he was like, do you do a lot of stop and go, stop and go? And I was like, yeah, matter of fact, I do. He said, because it's wearing on your battery. So I took that in. And so now when I dash, and if I know it's going to be in and out, I know the time... When I arrive at that restaurant, it says it's going to be ready at 6.45 and I get there at 6.50. I'm keeping my car on. I'm not turning it off. I'm keeping an eye on my car. But I'm able to lock my door, keep it started at the same time. But I'm keeping my car on. So if you're able to keep your car on, go into the restaurant, pick up the food, get back in your car without, you know, turning your engine off, turning your engine on, turning your 
if you can avoid that, avoid that to save your battery. All right? And don't forget to get your tires rotated each and every time you do your oil change. Each and every time. Oil change is like 20 bucks. I go to Firestone, get a coupon. You know, Jiffy Lube, 20 bucks. Coupon. All right, so rotate your tires, oil change. Um, alignment. If you can, get a lifetime alignment. I did that at Firestone, 200 bucks. So every time I go in for oil change, tire rotation, align me. Automatic. It's already paid for. Lifetime. So I don't have to worry about that. I think these are some important things that we need to keep in mind, um, being that we are in the food delivery business. We are using our car a whole lot. But especially get your oil changed every 3,000 miles. Or whatever your car manufacturer calls for. Less than that. Never heard of it being less than that, but hey, could be. So this is just a few little things that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope that helps. If you have any more questions, um, just leave comments below. I'll either get back to you or I'll make another video answering your questions. Until next time, y'all, be safe out there and be blessed. Deuces.